So I want to start off by thanking my new subscribers and also letting you know that you got a couple more days to enter in to win silver. Uh, either subscribe or comment and uh, I'll send you a private message if you won. And we'll go from there. So this first story we have from Gerald Salente. One of my favorite people to watch on YouTube. And it says, Trend forecaster Gerald Salente warns, prepare for the panic of 2016. History will remember this. This is submitted by Mark Salvo from shtfplan.com. Earlier this week, hedge fund manager Marin Katusa explained that up until the recent stock market hit, all the easy money flowing into energy sector, flowing into the energy sector, was being exuberantly spent on hookers, blow, and fancy toys. Now, as oil prices hover around $40 per barrel, Katusa said more pain is likely coming, and oil, and along with other asset classes, are going to go lower for longer. In a recent interview with Future Money Trends, forecaster Gerald Salente echoes Katusa's concerns Having accurately predicted the crash of 2008, nine months ahead of the bottom falling out of a on a global scale, Salente says another panic is coming this year. But if you thought 2008 was bad, Salente says Salente, this crash will be so severe it will be one for the history book. 51% of the people in the United States are employed and earning under $30,000 a year. Less than half the population is considered middle class in America. A gap between the rich and the poor is as bad as it was at the worst of times of the Gilded Age going back over a hundred years. So what happens when the panic of 2016 happens? The panic of 08 helped wipe away the middle class this is going to eliminate it, eliminate it to a large degree because they're deep in debt. Watch Gerald discuss his trends forecast for everything from politics and the economy to wealth preservation and strategies for entrepreneurship in times of crisis. Now what this is going to do is going to knock the top, knock out the top, and the top survived the other crash because the top are the ones that totally leveraged out. There's no more savings anymore. There's no more. It's only markets out there because of zero interest rate policy. The markets have been artificially juiced up so when things come down it comes it takes the top down. The last time it pulled out the bottom so this is going to be a top down crash. And there's not going to be anything to pump it back up because they've blown out all their ammunition. Once again, thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, please share. And I'll see you.